The cause of death for sports reporter Grant Wall has been revealed. According to his wife, Grant died from a ruptured blood vessel, an aortic aneurysm. So here to explain what that is and what causes aortic aneurysms is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Um, doc, there was a statement from the doctor uh, that said the autopsy found that Grant Wall died from a slowly growing, undetected, ascending aortic aneurysm, I'm going to try to say this correctly, with hemopericardium. So for those that are not in the medical industry, uh, can you break that down for us in layman's right? terms? First of all, sincere condolences to Grant Wall's family. Yeah. The world lost not only a great sports writer, but someone who has dedicated uh, himself to social justice and supporting LGBTQ rights. As for his cause of death, right, the aorta is the largest artery in the body, and it looks like kind of a curved candy cane. And what it does is it carries blood and oxygen from the heart through the chest and to different parts of your body. So, so now an aneurysm can occur in the aorta when there's a weakness in the wall. What happens is that the constant pressure of blood pumping through can cause a balloon-like bulge to develop in the weak area. And the force of this blood can also cause the aneurysm to rupture or split. When they rupture, the aneurysm bursts completely and it causes life-threatening internal bleeding. As for the medical term hemopericardium, this refers to blood in the sac that surrounds the heart, Brian. Okay, so Wall did reportedly did not feel well, uh, experienced chest pressure shortly before his death. So would that have been a warning sign? And what are the symptoms? Can this thing be avoided? Yeah, these are important questions, right? So aneurysms often do not cause symptoms. That's the problem. That is until they become large or burst, like what unfortunately happened to, to Grant. Now here's some signs to look out for. Shortness of breath. Pain in your neck, back, or chest, painful or difficulty swallowing, coughing, a weak, scratchy voice, or hoarseness. Now, if an aneurysm does rupture, symptoms will often come on very fast. They include sudden and severe pain in the chest, back, or abdomen, dizziness, or lightheadedness, kind of a fast or rapid heartbeat. The best chance of survival is getting medical care immediately, and surgical, surgery can effectively treat a ruptured ane aortic aneurysm if it happens quickly. Now, what about prevention? Right? As for preventing aortic aneurysm, please know that high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or smoking increases a person's risk. According to the CDC, in 2019, roughly 59% of deaths due to aortic aneurysms or aortic dissection happen amongst men. So. If you're, if you're thinking you're at high risk for developing aortic aneurysm or concerned about symptoms you're having, please, please talk to your doctor. There are imaging tests that can help uh, you find and diagnose an aortic aneurysm and it can prevent a death. Again, my condolences to Grant Wall's family. It was a huge shock and hopefully this tragedy will bring awareness to aortic aneurysms, Brian, and help save lives in the future. We can prevent this. And, and we were talking at the break that uh, there was some speculation that this could have been nefarious, so it appears that's not the case. Not at all. Yeah, not at all. all right. least, but still very tragic. Tragic nonetheless. Dr. Nandy, as always. My thank pleasure. You. If you have a health question for Dr. Nandy, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. Glenda?